Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The world watches and waits for Israel's next move. With the help of the U.S. and allies, Israel successfully warded off hundreds of Iranian missiles and drones. In just a few minutes, we'll check in with Josh Eininger in Jerusalem. And on the eve of the start of Donald Trump's hush money trial, we are now just hours away from a new chapter in American history. Jury selection gets underway tomorrow morning in the first ever criminal trial of a former president. But first, we begin with an AccuWeather alert. Good evening. I'm Pedro Rivera. Joe has the night off. Don't let that sunshine fool you that you see right now in the city. Later this evening, we could see some showers and storms, and north of us, they're already seeing some of those conditions. So let's get right to meteorologist Jeff Smith with all the details. Jeff. Yeah, Pedro, we're watching that line really consolidating north of I-84. We're talking about the Poconos, the Catskills, and the Mid-Hudson Valley, particularly here entering, say, northern parts of Pike County, western parts of Sullivan County, a lot of cloud to ground lightning, some heavy downpours, could be some small hail and gusty winds with that. And you see that line kind of extends into parts of Ulster County and Dutchess as well, becoming more solidified as it sinks from southeast, uh, from northwest to southeast. In the city, though, you wouldn't know that storminess could be on the horizon. 74 right now, beautiful. After we had a brief shower just uh, after midday, it really cleared out. Now, here's our future cast. So, say until 8 o'clock, we're probably fine in the city, but between 8 and 10, we could get one of these thunderstorm cells working at, all the way down to the five boroughs. I think it'll be weakening as it does so, so I think your best chance of getting some strong to severe storms would be off to the north and west. And by midnight tonight, yeah, you could have something lingering down the Jersey Shore, but in general, we'll be clearing things out. The Storm Prediction Center has highlighted these areas in yellow with a slight risk, a level two out of five risk uh, with gusty winds and small hail, the greatest threats north and west of New York City through the early part of the evening. So thunderstorms into this evening, especially north and west of town, could contain some gusty winds, even some small hail in a couple of spots. And then a really nice start to the work week tomorrow and Tuesday, both days sunshine and 70s, but we're back to unsettled for the middle to latter part of the week. Many more details on that and your AccuWeather seven-day forecast coming up. Pedro? All right, Jeff, we'll see you in a bit. In the face of an unprecedented attack from Iran, Israel successfully fought off a barrage of hundreds of missiles and drones with the help of the U.S. military. But tonight, the question on the mind of many around the world, how will Israel respond? The United States is standing by Israel, but President Biden says the U.S. doesn't want the situation to escalate, nor have U.S. soldiers drawn into any further conflict. Meanwhile, an emergency Sunday afternoon meeting at the United Nations, world leaders say the Middle East is on the brink and the people of the region are confronting a real danger of devastating full-scale conflict. Now is time to defuse and de-escalate. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Eininger is joining us live from Israel. He's on the ground there in Jerusalem. They're calling for peace, Josh. Yeah, they sure are, Pedro. You know, 24 hours ago, I was standing here. Where Say nothing. I'm always... Ooh. Come on, Doc. Read the room. You're at City Field. Don't mention the Yankees. He had to clarify. He's a smart uh, man. But that was that man. was a great seat, a great day for the Mets, and congratulations to it's Doc. Well deserved. Well deserved. Absolutely. All right, that's the news for now. Thank you for joining us. World News Tonight is next. I'm Pedro Rivera. We'll see you at a Seven on your side. We need to know what you did with their money. Seven on your side investigates. Based on our research, overdoses are exploding. What do you have to say to people? The team that digs for the truth. No, 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 no. Where are you stealing this money? The team that fights for you. Listen, I'm just trying to get your side of the story. Don't New Yorkers deserve to know this? Nina Pineda, Dan Krauss, and Kristen Thorne. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Always on your side.